In one of our previous videos, we learned the basics of creating chasers inside Resolum Arena without any plugins. This time, we will be taking the same idea and taking them a little bit advanced. Hi, my name is Zunaid Sabir Ahmed and let's dive into the project where we were working last time. We will start by going into advanced output by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift A. So we're going to duplicate this screen. Let's rename this screen called Slice Dump because we're going to dump our slices here. We won't be needing this stage. We're just going to work on this. So let's rename our slices into L1, Y1 because we will have multiple pieces of this, C1, R1 and maybe B1 for both. So now let's select L. Let's make the height half by dividing it by slash 2. So this is going to be half. Let's push it down. Let's press Ctrl or Command D for copy. Let's push it up. So L2, L1. Let me just organize it like this. So let's do almost similar for the C, but we're going to make the width half divided by 2 and also the height to be half. So let's, we're going to press our C1 into here. Let's do, let's press Ctrl D or Command D for duplicate. So C2, I want it here. Let's duplicate C3, I want it here maybe. C4, I want it here maybe. So this is almost a clockwise thingy. Let me just organize my slices. This is going to save our time sometime later. Let's do same for R1. Let's divide the height into two. So let's push it this one to top. Let's duplicate by Control T. Let's pull it to the bottom. If we have our snap button on, it's going to snap perfectly. Uh, let's do the width for the base. So for this one, let's try this one to be our B1 and this one to be our B2. Let's again sort the serial. So we are almost in a clockwise thing. This is going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, then 7, 8, 9, 10. Like a clockwise thingy. So let's hit save and close. So we will have all the slices available here. So let's do similar things like we did last time. But for this one, we're going to do for eight slices. So we just dragged one copy here. There's an empty. So let's just unfold. Let's just fold whatever we would need. Let's try to drop all the slices from here to here. Okay. So this looks already looks like a chaos. So we're going to do maybe mask for the main. So let's unfold all of them. Change the opacity to BPM sync and change the bit to 8 because we're going to need 8 bits. So we have successfully turned on all our opacity clips into ppm sync and changed the bit into 8. So let's get for to envelope for all of them. So we're gonna work in chunk like construction labor's work for digging a hole. So we are almost done with almost same kind of thing. 
let's see what happened one two three go so we have a chase let's try it out one two three go one two three go one two three go one two three so we can mix this chase let's save this as another preset maybe another spooky name so let's drop it in one of our clips maybe this one hey this is good let's just turn on the speed maybe one two three go one two three go again let's push it even to next level you can also do it in your own ways to do this we will again go back to our home next our home advanced output by pressing ctrl shift a or command shift a so what we have here we have a mess here let's fire some clip to see what's going on okay so this file is called r7 to 7 let's save another one called r7 to 7 2 for this one let's say we have uh, i think eight slices here ready to mess let's make this design a triangle based one so let's mess these slices as much as we want so let's make these slices weird as possible we're gonna focus on getting triangles maybe like this is nice okay l1 is fine l2 this one i want it a triangle like this this is rotated like this okay so this is my l2 for c that's okay this c is okay so let's do something beyond comfort for c2 let's do i'm not sure what i'm doing but whatever i'm doing i'm feeling good so i'm sure you're gonna feel same i suggest you to go crazy because there's always a control z button you can just press undo and fix all your problems let's let's make this slice just weird maybe for c4 maybe have another triangle remember we're just messing up with triangles we will make some circle composition maybe next time for r1 this is okay and for r2 i want this to be like this and starts from here starts from here goes here for where we're not gonna yeah we will mess with b1 and b2 why not because there's no penalty if you mess up with your slices no cop is gonna show up in your doors and knock and say hey what have you done with your slices you want to see what have we done to our slices let's just drop our comb on this yeah so this is a crazy shape generated inside resolume so we can just go faster so you remember what we what else we can do we can just drop it on top of a on top of a kaleidoscope maybe uh, and go even crazy as possible maybe this one you see the difference right let's try this insane preset now on the camera so this looks good let's change the slice transform mode to fill so i am inside tiny pieces of particles i think you can see me so you can use the same transition preset into for different applications you just have to open this advanced output uh, so if we want to hit back to our previous output we just go back to ctrl shift a we have to make sure that we have saved this just hit save and close that's saved we press ctrl shift a again and we can just dive back to our r7 to 7 which was our previous the boxy one so we will go back to our box chase so for this maybe i'm gonna need to fill myself and maybe also fit myself this looks better so sky is your limit t 
Till now, I haven't seen this system to make your resume hang on or crash. You can do same thing super faster, easier and with a bunch of more options with a plugin called Chaser by Hybit Constructs. And yes, as I told in my another video, I cannot unchaser myself. There are basic and advanced chaser tips in my channel. So check them out. And I'm so eager to know how you applied, modified or upgraded this trick in your workflow. See you next time.